Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Disgaea! Since last time, I, uh, healed up 40,000 HP at the hospital, and I got the Muscle Dream for my Kengo there. I moved some Arms Masters around there. Uh, also leveled up everyone to level 51 using the same areas as before, uh, 11, 1, and 9, 5. Those are pretty good areas here, so let's track down Curtis. Miss Jennifer has been really depressed lately. What do you mean? I wonder whose fault that is. Don't look at me like that. Who do you think you are? You should apologize. What kind of horse do you think you yeah. are anyway? Look at me when I'm talking to you. Um, Jennifer? Well, you see? You're still on the it's payroll. It's all my fault. Or... Huh? What? I could have stopped them, but I didn't. I could have I pressed the self-destruct button. But I kept denying it. If only... If only I was stronger. If only. What do you mean, Jennifer? What are you talking about? Some optional upgrades? Well done, or the boss. I thought it completely masked my presence. You do. Getting this close without me noticing. It's an honor to hear such praise from you. My purpose was to settle things with Gordon, but now you've caught my attention. Well, I thought that's why you came <laughs> here anyway. To take over the netherworld? You ask the obvious. Mono a mano. We shall speak with our fists. And swords and guns. For boss time! We will fight like men. And women. And women who dress like men. Okay, so, first things first. Uh, okay, he's not weak to ice, so... Uh, let's just use a good old-fashioned bullet storm there. Whoa. That might, uh... I think that's the first time I've ever seen Nazgard not kill an enemy. Uh, like, by the time I actually get to the point where I'm mentally willing to accept Okay, if you want to soften something up, don't have them... Don't send out the Nazgard. Apparently, n now he's not that overpowered. Yeah, there's a very good reason why I leveled everyone up to level 51 for this fight. This one is hard. Not obscenely so, but uh, probably one of the hardest battles we've fought up to now. So, yeah, you want to have some good levels for this one. Uh, the... Recruits there now actually have abilities for their axes, so you want to watch out for that. But since we got up to level 50, all my characters, or storyline characters, have new abilities. So let's go show one of them off. Um, one of my personal favorites, Meteor Impact. Yeah, kick ass! I love the animation. I love how they uh, have it animated for uh, the sequel, This Guy at D2. But, uh, well, that game's not out yet. At least not as of this recording. It's coming out soon. But we'll get there soon enough. I like how you can use Totem Cruise uh, at an angle, unlike all, almost all of his other abilities, I think. If not all of his other abilities. Let's see, okay, I want to get just in range of those guys to uh, hit them with a good old-fashioned star spell. Flan actually knows how to soften enemies up without killing them. Oh man, I can't get uh, behind them to use Violent Storm. Oh well, I only beat them half to death, I guess, instead. Now what I'm trying to do here is you want to take out uh, the recruits as uh, quickly as possible before uh, Curtis starts coming. So you want to kind of do what I'm doing here. Don't move out too far. Spread out your party members and uh, try to uh, lure the recruits in without luring Curtis in. Unfortunately, it seems that I have failed to do that. So, oh well. Maybe I should have been a little uh, less reckless with uh, the meteor impact there. But... Oh well. All right, go Tiana. 
Okay, so now... Let's, uh, I want to get back here to heal up a little bit, because Curtis, he hurts. So, just a little bit of healing there. Ought to get the dab done. Now, cancel the movement. And, let's see, I don't want to hit my own party member with it, so let's do that. Yeah, Meteor Impact is just really good. Uh, if I didn't say so before, you learn it at level 50 for Lahara. And that's his final ability. Hey, hey, all right, good shot. So yeah, every storyline character, they get a... Oh, I'm not set. Yeah, every storyline character gets a new ability at level 50 there. Although, pretty much only Laharl is the one that I really like. Let's see. Just trying to think of what I can do. Well, we'll start with that. Deal at least reasonable damage. Not bad, not bad. Okay, now my uh, rangers should be able to uh, finish him off. Just uh, give him a good tap on the shoulder there. I said tap him! And let's see, we can finish that guy off. I think he's the last recruit there. Oh yeah, by the way, one thing I forgot about was uh, with these EDF soldiers, it is actually a generic recruitable job class that you can get. Uh, in order to unlock it, you have to get a any class up to uh, level 30 in guns. There. This guy. Oh, Ow! So yeah, um, pretty much you're probably not going to do that until the post game, getting up to uh, level 30 in a gun user. I mean, you could grind for it. Come on. Well, I guess we'll just have to take him out the old-fashioned way. Back up a little bit. Um, yeah, there we go. See, I'm not really a fan of the EDF soldier class, even though they are a little better than uh, the, well, not, yeah, the Strider or, well, the Scout job class. Uh, the thing is, uh, one of the really big problems with it is that uh, EDF soldiers have really bad uh, resistance stats, and unlike Unlike physical defense, uh, magic resistance is actually remotely important. So you don't want to just totally screw yourself like that. And besides, a scout is almost nearly as good as a uh, EDF soldier anyway. And besides, you lose the scout's innate abilities. Like, uh... Most importantly, Geo Change, but uh, Dark Cannon's not bad. I should probably use Dark Cannon more often. I don't know why I don't use it that often. Every now and then it's okay, but uh, eh, not a huge fan of it. I just don't like my own party members getting hit like that, I guess. So, let's uh, see if we can finish him off there. Good job, Flan. Kill the guy who you thought had a crush on you. For dumping you like that, <laughs> preemptively. Not bad. What's wrong? Why are you holding back? Huh? I'm ready to get serious, but I don't want to injure the VIP. Oh well, yeah, Laharl is what? pretty important. Who's he talking about? Probably need him to sign the uh, surrender documents and all that. Fallen in love with me? Oh, sweet. Oh, I'm sorry. Where'd you get that idea? Whoops. Sorry, I spoiled the fact that Juan thought he had a crush on her. For some reason, I thought it, they said that before the battle. The space battleship Gargantua. Does that bumper sticker say "We break for nobody"? Oh, I can't quite read it. 
We will now begin a full-scale attack with over two million battleships. Whoa, that's a lot. But before that... Ah! Your father awaits you, Jennifer. Come with me. In hell? Father? I thought her parents passed away when she was a child. Uh, Jennifer? What? You didn't know? She is General Carter's foster child. What? He is your father. Er... I'm sorry, yeah, Gordon. Much. What Curtis said is true. I was adopted by General Carter and raised as his child. How could you not know he that? He was a kind man. I always believed that he loved me. I like how Gordon's just kind of standing there with his jaw dropped the whole the time. <laughs> He's not even moving. He raised me only so he could use me. Or abuse if you. If you're going to complain about your father, tell him yourself. My orders are simply to bring you back alive. That's what this whole chapter was about. He wants to use me again? Yeah, pretty much. It doesn't matter anymore. Why not kidnap Thursday? He's immensely more useful. What's Jennifer gonna do? Wait! Jennifer, don't go! You're the assistant of Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth, remember? Well, you used Have to. you forgotten our sworn duty? Our um, sworn duty didn't duty? Did you dismiss her? Shut up! Don't dig up the past! I retracted that! Oh, yeah. Jennifer, it doesn't matter if you're Carter's daughter or not. As the assistant to the Defender of Earth, listen to your heart. What is right? What do you believe in? And what will you do right now? Find out next time? Gordon. You're not going to tell us, are you, Gary? Enough talk. Gordon, Overlord, I'd like to settle this once and for all. If you want Jennifer back, then find a way aboard the Gargantua. Until then, see ya. How hard could he possibly be there? What, you just gonna fly into Jennifer! space like that? Jennifer! Thursday! I, I mean, uh, Jennifer! To be continued. What, the game is cliffhanging me? Well, let's just skip past that for now. This is a bit worrisome. Huh? I never thought human intervention could cause such disorder. What is the Seraph doing? Nor did I. <gasps> Who's this that? This may hinder our plans. Yes, indeed. Now we can finally hear his voice. What is troubling you? Is there something else? Sounds familiar. I cannot believe that this is the work of humans alone. Kind of sounds like Curtis. Someone must be pulling the strings. Hmm. Do you have an idea of who it might be? You? I think so, but I cannot be certain. It might be my I alter see. ego. I will investigate the matter. But if you strain yourself much more, you will. Couldn't you just send anyone else? <laughs> that is of little concern. Compared to the ordeal they are enduring. Now, I know who that mystery person is. Episode 13. And We're I realized it world. right Part when I heard two. the voice acting. Once I heard the voice acting for the guy, I was like, oh, okay, now I totally Damn know it. who he is. But humans. For those who don't know, I'm not going to spoil world, it for you. Beats me. I don't understand how humans think. I'm back. Oh, How'd it where'd go, you go? Gordon? Easy, as expected. Using Thursday's navigation system, I was able to lock onto the Gargantua's coordinates. Good work. Now we can board the ship directly. Even though it's probably moving at the speed of light? But still, I'm surprised you were able to find the coordinates. You look about as smart as a rock. <laughs> I like how it just says well, that so it bluntly. Seems that Jennifer had already programmed them in. Oh, yeah, probably. Jennifer did? Then, did she expect this to happen? I guess so. Hmm. But she must have wanted to give her father the benefit of the doubt. That's probably why she never told me about it. Hey, how long are 
you planning on sitting around? Let's kick ass and we take names. Let the humans have their way. Let's go. I shall show those fools what happens when you pick a fight with an overlord. Those insolent fools. Yeah, we'll show them. That's right. I'm overwhelmed with hero's spirit. I'll save Jennifer no matter what. <laughs> this is getting interesting. Um, this is coming up to one of my favorite parts of the game. And what is my favorite battle music in the game? Find out next time on Let's Play This Gaia. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day. <laughs>